Disney on the Arshals Man. Always got a small for the marshals and never piss them off. <sighs> I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor and put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. No more Dorseys in my city, and everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you, but I see now that they were dead wrong. Old Saul always knows best. Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brago. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on them? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. Thanks for talking to me, Rangers. And I'm grateful to Daisy for the introduction. I hope I can be of some use to you. I thought there might be a bit of a job interview first, but if you're ready for me, I'm ready to start. Certainly. What do you want to know? <laughs> no. And the people who do are usually sickos who get off on bossing around convicts and making them squirm, right? Well, that's not me. I promise you. I became a jailer after getting locked up myself when I was a kid and seeing the job done wrong. We expect the law to be fair, from arrest to trial to sentence, but too many people forget that incarceration is part of the process, a big part, and often the least fair. People in jail are there to learn from their mistakes. In a bad jail, all they learn is to mistrust the law and fear their fellow man. I want to make your jail a good jail where everyone is treated fairly, regardless of their crime, and everyone has a chance to improve themselves. It's not there anymore. 
Scar collectors rolled through and took everybody they could catch for slaves. Then they burned the place to the ground. I led a caravan of survivors to Colorado Springs, and I've been here ever since. I respect Daisy's determination to keep Colorado Springs safe, but I... I don't agree with her methods. They're too... savage. Take the pillories, for example. The marshals shackle prisoners into them for the smallest of crimes and leave them exposed to the cold for hours. They lose fingers and noses and ears to frostbite. If they survive at all, what does that accomplish? Other than cripple them and mark them as criminals for life. After that, how can they become good citizens? How are they to believe that the law is fair? It turns my stomach. Daisy tells me you've been tireless fighters for justice in Arizona. Settling disputes, breaking up gangs and militias, putting down a plague of robots, and that you're here in Colorado for the most noble of reasons, to save your people back home after a terrible disaster. I hope she wasn't blowing smoke because she made you sound just like the sort of heroes I want to work for. Thank you. I'll be there as soon as I make my goodbyes here. Looking forward to working with you. Got any good news, Rangers? I sure could use some. What's on your mind? That's good old-fashioned Colorado justice. We slap lawbreakers into the pillories, strip them down, and let the cold do its work. You can't go easy on traitors and criminals, not in a place like this. Not with the wasteland right outside the walls. Only thing keeping us civilized is the law, and folks need to see what happens to people who break it. Best damn outfit in the city. We're independent and tough as hell. Only person we answer to is the patriarch. No offense to the hundred families, but they're not welcome in the marshals. My boys and girls are ordinary folks who had to struggle for what they've got. That's the way I like it. Oh, I've been here a long time, Rangers. Started out as the Patriarch's bodyguard about 30 years ago, and he liked my style. Guess I was a cute young thing back then. After I helped him whoop the Plains gangs, he put me in charge of the marshals. Been doing the job ever since. Never gave him cause to complain. I keep things nice and peaceful around here. All right. What have you got for me? Roger that. <laughs>